kind of an eclectic group of people that love and enjoy the horse business, and we try and put all our talents together to make it work. I'm still pretty awesome. Pretty fly for a white guy routine. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Michael Vermoss. He's kind of a fat, but I like him. I have not ever really seen him fall off. I'm sure he has, but I think the thing that's helped him out the most is being fat, because gravity keeps him on a horse. You always have something stuffed in your mouth. There you go. But at least it's food. The other thing is you can't understand him. He talks like he has a mouthful of all the time. And it's blah, 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 blah. Don't try to catch me out, pal, because you're not going to get it. All right, we'll just try to get you down. Someone of Michael's caliber needs all the help that he can get, right? I've been, I've been here all week. <laughs> At least I've got credentials, something you don't have. <laughs> to be able to call yourself a trainer. <laughs> we have to respect the dude. He's ugly as a mud fence, but yet he has a pretty hot girlfriend. So how does a crusty old <laughs> like you get a 20-year-old girlfriend? That's why I wasn't born a woman. <laughs> You have to respect him for that part of it. Are you, not saying that they'll never are, you, are you taking her to the McDonald's Playland or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jealousy is a isn't it? She seems nice, even though she threatened to beat the out of me if I dropped the rope. I didn't think that was so nice. And she's made me cry before. You. She tried to trick me. Here's the deal. She oh, says, you are a no. shyster. We can kind of torture and poke fun at him all the time. He gets mad. Acts like a little baby. No, I mean, I'm not, really look, no, wait, 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 no, no, the thing right? is, I'm, really? enunciate your words. Can you say fixin'? Fixin'? Fixin'. 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 But we're surrounded by a bunch of great friends. It's kind of like the land of misfit toys. Tiny is a ginormous monster of a man. Picks me up like a piece of luggage. Um, Tiny's dog, Brutus, is a, is a beast of a dog. And I think he uses it so that it makes him look manly or to pick up chicks. Because everybody loves a man with a small dog. Turban Cowboy is a lazy f bum. We have great schemes and plans, but a lot of the time we just sit around and make fun of each other. <laughs> I am a Mexican-American. I just love horses. Danny, um, he's probably one of my best friends. He needs help. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of dream and have big ideas and a big grand scheme of things, and Danny kind of keeps it, you know, kind of the, the nuts and the bolts or the brass tacks, as they say. <laughs> He's the only guy that I know that runs three cell phones, you know, and he carries them like pistols in his holster. Right? <laughs> you know, he, he's, a, he's a great horseman. <laughs> I have no idea who won, but this is. You know, I love him like a brother. Sarah, the girl that works for me, I don't know. Everybody else told me that she talks. She's been here for a few months and has never said a word to me. Are your nose holes small? Or are you lacking oxygen? Sometimes she laughs. And anytime I ask her anything, it's just, you like your job? Do you like your horse? You want to eat? I think she's part robot. <laughs> Sabrina's like part of our family now. She's been over here five or six times. Being German has its drawbacks for both of us because she cannot understand a joke. I'm pretty funny. I think everybody would admit that. It's just a joke or if you mean it seriously? If you're in Germany, do they have comedy clubs? Because I've never met a funny German. I, I didn't say I liked you more. I said I like the horse more than you. Picture this and make you look pretty. You know, make you all shiny for the girls. 
Make you look good. You know, it's one of those horses and that's why I like this breed so much. They'll, you know, they'll cope with any idiot on top of them. Well, Petrie, your last run, brother. So I think everybody's uh, dream or idea of success is, is kind of a subjective thing. So we haven't really won a ton as far as, you know, big earnings and big stuff. But, um, you know, we have, you know, have kind of the perfect family life. You know, I've, I've got a, a, you know, beautiful wife that's a great mom. We've got, uh, you know, two great kids that, that like to ride. You know, I kind of pray maybe they don't go into the horse business since it's a peanut butter and jelly profession. But she did try to trick me. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my wife looks very sweet and innocent right but <laughs> so we inherited this kitchen table that we have but okay. it only came with two chairs i have probably the, the best job in the world with the best group of friends anybody could have we just like to have fun and maybe sometimes we push it a little bit too far what is it like to be the dummy of the group well at least i'm entertaining you got your motive we're all we're all one big happy family and we all work together everybody has their strengths and weaknesses and we know we're there for each other I think that's what makes the world turn ride hard be safe and have fun <laughs>